Please have a seat, everybody. Before we go any further, I just want to say thanks to the cast of Ted Lasso for being here tonight for our cold open here. <laughs> they're, uh, I mean, they're, all, they're obviously they're always here, but thank you for being on camera tonight. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Folks, I spend most of my time sourcing the finest Highland news barley, fermenting it in the waters of Tarlogi Springs and having it distilled by the legendary men of Tain and finished in oak cast to create the delicately complex Glenmorangi grand vintage single malt that is my monologue, but sometimes I snap awake in a pond behind an abandoned middle school cafeteria, crush up some old banana peels and Swedish fish in a broken door of the Explorer lunch pail, which I <laughs> stew in storm drain runoff, then pour into a discorded Nike Air Max to offer you the swamp hooch of news that is my segment. Meanwhile... Meanwhile, news from Florida's poorly written fan fiction, Arizona, where a local Dairy Queen is on the hunt for their missing red spoon statue. The spoon is 15 feet tall, and surveillance cameras caught two people seen grabbing it and taking off on a, quote, small motorbike. Wait a second. Was the motorbike small? Or did it just seem that way because of the giant spoon? <laughs> Meanwhile, over the weekend, hundreds of cases of beer spilled on a Montana train derailment. Well, guess we were due. The rule is every 10 train derailments, we got a fun one. <laughs> the train spilled hundreds of cases of beer into this local river, including a whole bunch of Coors Light. But authorities say the water is fine, and so is the river. <laughs> Meanwhile, Levi is going to start using AI models. Levi says they're doing this to increase the number and diversity of models for their products. We came this close to actually hiring and painting diverse models, then we decided to have a MacBook Pro make some. <laughs> Don't worry, we gave a raise to the white guy who thought of it. <laughs> Meanwhile, in romantic news, at last night's opening Dodgers game, a fan decided to propose to his girlfriend by running out onto the field. There he is. It's all very romantic. The crowd is cheering, and... Oh! And... Yes, sir, Bob. Bachelor party in the ICU. <laughs> Don't worry, they found the ring, but they're still looking for his teeth. Meanwhile, in Good Samaritan news, after an Uber driver picked up his customer at a dialysis center and heard their story, the driver donated his kidney to the passenger. Wow. Somebody really wanted five stars. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Michigan, a baby was born in the parking lot of a Costco. Just one? You're at Costco. Get triplets. Otherwise, it's not a deal. <laughs> now, everyone... Everyone is fine. Evidently, what happened was the couple was on their way to the hospital when they realized they would not make it in time, so they pulled over in the parking lot of the Costco and contacted EMS. That is crazy. They found parking at Costco on a Saturday? <laughs> Evidently, word is mom and baby are doing well and were taken to the hospital to recover, but only after a Costco associate checked their receipt. <laughs> We'll be right back with sports commentator Stephen A. Smith.